us today, we are against genetically modified organisms for very real and scary reasons, which Will and I will explain to you today. I think that what we hear on this side of the house is a naive approach that ignores the fact that developing countries are by and large in crisis. I actually think that this breeds a cycle of dependency that is incredibly harmful, not just for the autonomy of farmers, but also for the future sustainability of farming methods in those countries. We see separate third world countries like India or Sudan making their own decisions, and we think that's a much better appropriate nuanced response that puts the, the power in the hands of the developing world instead of their blanket solution. The problem with GNOs is not that they're less effective, but that they are similarly effective in the short term, less effective in the long term, and they divert resources away from solutions that actually work. These are problems that are solvable with science, and the only way science happens is if you don't ban the result. Thank you.